Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this video from. It's me again, Peter. Thank you so much for coming back to learn with me. So we are learning together. Today we are going to see a different video series about how to temporarily disable a recipient mailbox in Microsoft Exchange 2019. So let's get started. Why do you want to do this? Let's get a scenario why an admin would like to perform this kind of task. Let's say you are the ex I mean, exchange administrator for XYZ school and they're actually leaving for vacation. And the school administration, they want to temporarily disable their mailbox to prevent incoming messages from filling up their mailboxes during the vacation and they want you to help them out so what we can do right here is just to use a simple powershell command to actually disable this mailbox so i've actually before we begin if you want to do it via the gui you can go ahead and just highlight the email click on this and disable it but what happened when you disable the email from the gui you cannot re-enable that email when the user come back from vacation. So I'm going to show you. Let's go through the GUI. We're going to disable. So now everything goes away. It doesn't even matter if you come over here. You're going to start looking at, okay, where's the user mailbox? So we don't, we can't find it anymore. So that's the reason we wanted to do it via the management shell. In order for us to commence, let's open the management shell and we're going to get our mailbox. In this case, user one is not going to be included because it's disabled. So let's reverse, <laughs> let's reverse the process right now. I'm going to enable the mailbox again so that I can show you how to disable it. So enable mailbox, then we're going to call the identity. If you have been practicing right now, you should be used to mailbox identity as we go. So user one, and I'm going to use the PowerShell confirm, then false with the dollar sign. So this we actually bring that mailbox back let me show you you go over here if you refresh the mailbox is back you see right there so we just reverse engineered the head process so how will you if i go to get mailbox and get mailbox you see that we have user one on the screen right now so how do we disable it via the the management shell is the same way. We just go with disable, disable mailbox. Then you call the identity user one and you call the confirm. Column dollar sign false. That's it. If we go ahead and get some mailbox, user one is gone so when user one come back from vacation or if you wanted to see more details about the user just to make sure that this mailbox has been disabled you really want to confirm so you might want to do i'm going to provide you with this uh partial so what you do what i'm doing right here is that i'm just calling the get mailbox i call the identity and i'm selecting the object that you see that is not visible here yet but that is like the properties of the user one or any mailbox right here in exchange so i call it and let's see what we have uh, okay Looks like I make a mistake right here.
So user one could not be found. Why? Okay, it's because it's disabled. So from what I'm doing here, we can see that I put if the mailbox is enabled. If I go ahead and do a different mailbox, this should work. So let's see. I'm going to do ADMSWP. You can see that that is actually set to true. So that means this email, this one is right there. You see, it goes away. The user one goes up because it's disabled. So let's go ahead and enable it again. Enable mailbox. Then you call the identity. User one, in my case, I call the confirm. Semicolon dollar sign false. Now the user is back. How do we know? So now user one is back to work. Then we can call the same. You see that we have the user one. So that is how you temporarily disable the the recipient mailbox in Microsoft Exchange. I really hope this information is helpful for you. Please go ahead and practice. And if you have any question, you can drop it down in the comment section and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye bye for now.